Hello guys, welcome back. And today I have a special video here that will be talking about how to use 2D to push your animation. So you're going over a little bit of the 2D animation workflow, showcasing a little bit of the new Moving, the new display tablet from Wacom. Really, really cool. And it's like super light and super convenient. And as you guys know, I do travel a lot. So for me to have a system that works really well on the go, like a laptop and a display tablet is essential. And this one is like really, really good. I can even close the laptop and just use the tablet. And I have my windows here, which is great because it can open Maya, it can open Blender, I can open Sync Sketch, and I can even draw over on my Maya scene and, and etc. And then I'm just going to start drawing over. We can just start like really detailing these poses. I'm just going to start like this. This is the main pose. So I'm just going to make sure this hooks up with the rest of the attack. And, and keep an eye on Patreon. I will post the progress of this, like the finalized version. Because this is a two part combo attack. So this is like the part one. And now this sword is starting to drop, so we see this nice overlap motion. And then here, the sword kinda hits the floor. Pling! Nice. So, as we see here, comparing the 3D to the 2D, the 2D has a lot more flow, a lot better overlap, and now we can start playing a little bit of the timing and build some breakdowns. So I forget about my base, so this base took me about, this 3D version here, took me about like an hour, an hour and a half, maybe like an hour, just the main poses, getting the timing down, now I bring it to 2D, I mark down the main poses, and now I'm going to start playing with the timing. You know another cool thing of this moving, that is touch, touch screen. So I can just use the touch instead of the pen, which is much simpler. It's much better. And as you saw me drawing, the touch screen didn't bother at all. And now I'm going to start just pushing a little bit the timing here. Let's put these four frames. This one, we're gonna add a breakdown here. Add drawing, split halfway. And now we can just have, like the sword should be pretty much there already. It's coming from here, just like and we have this nice smear but the body is still kind of coming here so let's see yeah it gives a nice extra slice and here's where I start experiment as well with my shot. It's just like cool. I like that and it has a nice hold. It has a good swipe. But what if it also slices up instead of sideways? So I can just go here on the layer.
Now we have two versions here. And you see how fast it is to try something 2D? We have two versions here of the same shot and both of them work on their own way. And we just did it like really nice and really fast. I kind of like the second version more, so I'm glad we did this. It just feels more intentional. I feel like we can tweak a little bit the spacing going up, but we don't have enough space on the canvas, that's why. But I think in Maya, we can just jump into Maya. Now that we have Maya open, I can just turn on my blue pencil. Cool. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to show a little bit of a review as well. And yeah, really cool. Thanks, Wacom as well for sending me this amazing device. I'm gonna use it every day probably. I really like it. Super light, super convenient. And yeah, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.